check out AEW. I think it's um, there's a lot of hype. Reminds me of the um, WCW day, w days in the late nineties. Yeah, starting as a talent there, and yep. they're, they're smart that they're not getting the um, Goldbergs, like the old talent. They're going for um, like CM Punk. I know that he's a bit older, but he's still really popular, and he hasn't come back. And getting some of the good people who have been cut recently, I think it's really smart. Um, I also don't watch a lot of those other ones. And I'm also pretty keen to check out a bit of AEW. Yeah, absolutely. All right, next uh, question is from Adrian Mansfield. If you if you could have any deceased wrestler be a guest on the podcast, who would it be and why? Uh, for me, Mr. Perfect, easy choice. Um, I'd love to just... just shoot the breeze with Mr. Perfect, had such a great career, but probably never quite got to that level of um, uh, immortal. But uh, him or Ultimate Warrior would be the two, but yeah. Warrior would be a bit of a nutcase to interview. What about you, James? Mate, m- mine would be um, the Ultimate Warrior because I'd love to pick his brain about uh, just his, obviously his career, but just his, um, uh, how do you say it, just, just he, his drive. I'd love to just... Just ask me, to ask me a question, and I'll pretend to be the ultimate warrior, and I'll respond to your question. <laughs> Chris, what sort of steroids do you take? <laughs> ah, the mania and the ultimate warrior. Ah, the warriors, the warriors. <laughs> That's what you're going to get back from him. Yeah. Every yeah. promo, every cut. You ever watch his promos back now? Like, what the frick is he talking about? <laughs> Uh, James, uh, if, if you this is from Riley Emerson. If you could create a Hasbro or Elite lineup, who would you pick in the set and their attires? If you could create a Hasbro or an Elite lineup, if you could create a Hasbro or an Elite lineup, who would you pick in the set and the attires? Oh, look, I think for me, I, I always go to um, the Beverly Brothers, Power and Glory. Let's stick to six. So Power and Glory. Who have I always said? Power and Glory. Beverly Brothers, I would go a – if it's Hasbro, a Bobby the Brain Heenan and a Slick. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, I'm going to back yours. I don't think we can give that more time. We did that a couple of weeks ago. Uh, do you want to ask Aki's question? Yep, Aki Munro. What version of a wrestler do you want to see made that never gets made? Now, I'm going to ask this. Is, is Aki asking this question because he's going to make it? Because he makes some pretty badass customers. Yeah, yeah. So – I and you know what, with Aki's, with Aki's figures, they, they are getting better and better and better, which is awesome. Yeah. I want to see the Earthquake and Dino Bravo. Uh, I know the Earthquake's coming soon, but I want to see that um, tag team, Earthquake, Dino Bravo. Um, yeah. Yeah. The Canadian yeah. flag, the flag on the trunks. Um, I think that's what I want to see. What about you, mate? Yeah. Oh, mate, I'm going to stick to Beverly Brothers or, or Power and Glory. I, I it, it, Blows my mind that neither of those tag teams have ever been made. Well, they are now through heels and faces, but oh, sorry, Beverly Brothers aren't, but uh, Power and Glory are. But it blows my mind that they haven't been mainstream um, manufactured. Blows me away. Uh, now, the next question is Who are your personal Michael Jordan or Scotty Pippen of action figure collecting? Uh, and it's from Andrew Webster. It says, Mine are Kyle Peterson and Steve Sandsweet. So, who are you? I guess who are we saying are the biggest collectors in um, the community? Yeah, okay. Do we want to keep it down under or do we want to go worldwide? Well, I don't want to offend anyone if we choose people down under, but, uh, you know, go ahead, choose whoever you want, mate. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to go, look, Mark Reynolds, my mate in Wales. Mark Reynolds would have to be my Michael Jordan because yeah. – He's just he's just had some phenomenal pieces come through his hands and had still got some. The Scotty Pippen. The Scotty Pippen, the Scotty Pippen would have to be. Hey, you tell me you're Michael Jordan. Give me some time to think about the Scotty Pippen. Well, it's a tough one because I think every collection and collectors are different. But look, if I was looking at down under, I'd be looking at Lucas Moneta and Jackson Benjamin. They yep. both have sensational collections. Uh look because I don't know how much people buy and sell. Remember when we saw Lucas on uh, yeah. the project and he had um, he had just that amazing figures in the background. But then you look at the guys in the New Zealand, Matt Rhodes and Rub Figs, doing yeah. their uh, – they've got some badass stuff over there too. So 
for I think it's what? so hard to narrow down to two people. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with uh, Scotty Pippen as uh, Lucas Moneta as well. That's three shout outs, Lucas, for you today, tonight, <laughs> um, because he's because his collection made it on the news. So there you go. Until they asked there him about go. bringing the date home, and then it got a bit awkward. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, my turn. Yep. This is from this is from Zashman, the OJN master. Do you prefer sealed blisters or packaging that allows the figure to be removed and put back in the pack? Depends what figure, but I'm going to say for based on the Mattel elites, uh, I would like them to be. Um, you know, you could remove and then put them back in the pack. Well, you can. No. You can remove no, them late. Not on the late how. You just cut the tape, open the box, slide it out. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty yeah, right. You can. It's yeah. not it's quite often the box will rip, but it's uh, possible. Um, yeah. I prefer uh, my Hasbro sealed and my every yeah. other figure loose. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Same. Uh, Nick Johnson says, uh, if you could crowdfund for the Hasbro retro line, what would you like to see? <laughs> I would I would love to see again the the Beverly Brothers and Power and Glory, uh, but I would love to see a full scale arena, um, you know, yeah. floor mats, yeah. entrance. That'd be awesome. I'd like to see a gobbledygooker. Uh, yeah, cool. That's cool. That's that's a good question. Very good question, Nick. All right, Stephen Cook. If you had one piece of wrestling memorabilia from any time in WWE history, what would it be and why? Oh, I would like a signed chair from the Silver Dome, WrestleMania 3, signed by Hulk and Andre. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, if you wanted and it from... Ticket. And a ticket as you, well. If you wanted it from Hulk and um, Ricky the Dragon, there's one on eBay for now, yeah, now no. for 700 bucks. Hulk and Andre, mate. I want, a, I want the main event. You know what I would love? I would love the, the actual belts that Ultimate Warrior was holding when he won the World yeah. Wrestling championship and he's got the ic and the world world title those two well, belts I'd, I'd also like a pair of andre's black trunks so i could make myself a hammock in the <laughs> make you feel good about yourself yeah. uh all right luke young what would be your favorite random thing in your collection if you have one uh mine is compared to the fact that 99 percent of my collection is wrestling is my matthew pavlich rookie card autograph uh Dockers legend, former games record holder here. Uh, it's just a bit of a random thing for me to have in my wrestling collection. Uh, I also really like my Gorilla Monsoon Elite, which is proving harder and harder to find. Yes, it is very hard to find. Yeah. Um, for me, I would say, I don't know, it's, it's not even a collectible, but it's I'm looking at it right now. It's a picture that my wife got me for my 40th, and it's a picture of me sitting next to uh, Warrior, Bret Hart, and Hulk Hogan in Simpsons format. Oh, very nice. That's mine. Uh, James, is there anything in your collection that you have a stronger attachment to because of who you got it from or when you got it? Yeah, look, there is. There is. I, I, I've, I've shared this story many times. The the uh, My hand-painted prototype of Rowdy Piper, There's a you know I've shared that story many times where I thought the one I bought in retail as a kid was wrong and I kept going at the stores trying to find the one that I could see in the magazine. Years later, I've learned that that was a prototype. I now have that prototype. And uh, my um, uh, Sergeant Slaughter hand-painted prototype from Series 3 and the and the no-name error card because he was my dad's, my late dad's favourite wrestler. And uh, James, the, oh, I've been asked the question too. But, yeah. Um, probably my uh, Hulk 1 and Warrior 1, first two Hasbro's I ever got, are still the original ones I had in my collection. Um for some reason, my Hasbro's always remind me of my Nana as well because I spent a lot of time yeah, with nice. her. And um, she used to go to Tai Chi, you know what Tai Chi is? Yep. It's like um, Chinese yoga. You know, they go there yeah. and do a little... Oh, yeah. Do this, do that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, my Nana used to drag me along to her Tai Chi classes, but it was very quiet and uh, it was like a sanctuary that I wasn't allowed to make any noise and I'd have my ring. With my figures, and I'd be wrestling them just gently, so there was no noise. <laughs> uh, and I'd do that for like an hour, so I can still remember take, going to these bloody community centres with my nana and do this stuff. Uh, That's cool. The last question is from Riley as well. It's very similar to Stephen's question, so I'm going to pass on that one. We've just answered it. 
We've got to choose a winner, James. That's tough. Wow. Wow, it's your, your call, mate. And look, uh, you know, I'm going to give it to this person because I, it, maybe it wasn't the best question, but it got us thinking about the future. Uh, so I'm going to give it to James Pete for what would your tag team name be in the WWE? James Pete. It wasn't quite on the uh, Wrestling <laughs> with Fix podcast uh, track. But, geez, it's got me thinking now, and uh, it's going to have a few laughs from it. Made me laugh. Uh, from East, day, East we're in a couple. So, well done, James. Pete, uh, the man with two first names, you are getting a Liv Morgan elite. Well done, James. And, James, uh, if you're listening, mate, send me through a DM with your address details, and um, Jeff from Go Figure will send that to you ASAP. Good one. Well done. Thanks. It's not well done. Thanks so much, everyone, for sending in your questions. We look forward to answering them uh, in the next podcast. Well, that wraps up uh, Q&A. Let's go into, I always get this segment wrong. It's can I have your attention, please? Can I have your attention, please? Please listen. Can I have your attention, everybody? Attention. So we've got some uh, cracking member highlights here, Chris. Now, this one here. I was really I, – I just get really proud when I see Australian members have their their product or their, their gifts to this community shared around the world, right? So this one here is from Zash Man, who just asked us an earlier question. Now, he's, he's, he's a world-renowned LJN customizer. And here he is. He's got his Papa Shango LJN custom held by Papa Shango himself, a.k.a. the Godfather, yeah. a.k.a. Yeah, that's not Papa Shango. That's the Godfather, mate, but it's not Papa Shango. Godfather, the Godfather, Karma. What else does he go as? Uh, what was he called when he used to wear the, the suit in the, um, uh, what were they called? A uh, right to censor. Uh, okay, yeah, I can't remember. That's out of my, he, out of my um, time. Love seeing customs being shared like that. Um, yeah, I wish I had that talent. Ah. Oh. Like I'm yeah. very jealous. I see Aaron Shredder. I see Peter Paulos. I see um, Zashman. I see Aki. And I look yeah. at their customs. And I'm like, man, if I could do that, I'd be doing that all the time. And then they're like, yeah. hey, it's not that hard. You just have to try. I'm yeah. Like, no, I'm, I'm 38 years old. I can't try anymore. Yeah. If I can't do it now, I'm not going to be able to do it. So yeah. I, I, I once, when I was studying to be a teacher, I um, was struggled through my arts unit. So we had to do an arts unit for primary teaching. You sort of learn each aspect of the curriculum. And I was at the tab seeking a few jars at the end of the semester and my lecturer rang me and she said, hey, can we? Can you come in and talk about your arts project? I said, you know, Ace. So I thought, oh, only six pints deep, I should be all right. So I slothered her in there, sozzled a bit, and she goes to me, oh, look, I've got your folder and you've got all your project stuff here for project one, but then you've got only half of project two and nothing of project three. She goes, where's Project 2? I said, you want to know where Project 2 is? It's too fucking hard. I said, I didn't even do it. I said, you expect me to do this shit with kids? I said, I couldn't do it myself when I'm a grown man. And you know, you know what she said to me? What, what? If we just give you, what if we just give you a 50 and we'll call it a pass? You get out of there. Like, you know what yes. I want you to do, Chris? You know what What's I want that? you to do? I want you to, I want you to go back and listen to last week's podcast. Yeah. And I'll bet you that you shared that story last week. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. You shared that no story way. last week. Yeah, that no exact way. same story. <laughs> you did. Wow. <laughs> you must be tired, mate. Let's let's keep let's keep uh, let's keep zooming through so you don't fall asleep on hey, us. Yeah, um, just while we're there, Adam, cut that one out, mate. Cut that one out. <laughs> no, I'll leave that in, Adam. Um, no, Lucas no. Peter again, mate. Thank you, brother, for coming out with those skateboards. Absolutely love them. And um I encourage everyone to get one because they look sick. Uh, John Lucas Reyes is doing some great work around the world. Um, here is his T-shirt designed for uh, Brian Myers, the most professional wrestler. I saw he did one for Matt Cardona, and I see that he's uh, working on the Series 2 uh, card backs for um, uh, the Junk Shop Dog uh, Safubi uh, figure releases. So well done, yeah, John Lucas cool. Reyes. Well done, and soon well to be working done. on um, the, the Wrestling With Figs podcast uh, merch. Yes, Fingers crossed. Uh, and once, you know, as always, Sis Dog, Ryan Adams, thank you for all your, your creativity, your your uh, your amazing work to get this podcast off the ground. And huge thanks to our brother from another mother, Adam, 
from FWCI Sports.